How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to make a quick video about how to do a very simple script in the workshops editor for Overwatch. By the end of this uh, tutorial you'll be able to modify certain characters in Overwatch so that they can have an extra ability um, in addition to their original abilities. What we'll be using is a super jump or like a super leap similar to say Baptiste's new ability only more customized and you can add it to any character so stay tuned. If you are interested in doing that um, head over to the workshop area um, and this is in the where the game browser was so if you go to settings here um, not the game browser like the game modifier area um, go ahead and add a new rule. So I'm going to call this Super Jump. Now I'm going to walk you guys through kind of what's going on with all of this UI. So um, up here you have the event. So nothing, none of, the, none of the scripts will get run unless you pick an event. Um, so global is more of a one-time deal. Um, it happens at the start of the game and it, it, it can kind of repeat, but really when you're dealing with characters, you don't want to use global. You want to use what's called ongoing each player. So this means that um, it will continually check for a certain set of conditions for each of the players individually. Otherwise, we would have something like if one player hit this key combo to do a super jump, all the players would super jump. And that would probably be fun, but like that's not what we're going for right now. You can see there are some parameters, like you can specify the teams that can do this or the specific players, but we're going to have this just go for everything for now. So in order to have this happen, we want um, to have a special key combo to let a super jump that's different than just regular jumping. So in order to do this, I think a good idea is if we had, if you hit the key combo of uh, crouch and jump at the same time. Um, keep in mind, the only keys you have access to are the keys that are in Overwatch. So you can't just say if a bracket key is hit, you have to have crouch, primary fire, secondary fire, ability one, you know, things like that where it could port over to controllers. So um, here we're in the condition statement. So we need to add a condition for when the crouch button and the jump button are hit. So if you go here and in here you type in... Um, is button held? You can put the crouch button. So right now, this whole thing reads, um, if the player we're dealing with, and that's, once again, each player individually, but if we narrow it down to one player, if the player we're dealing with is hitting the button crouch, and it, this just means if that statement is true, now, if we add another condition, this is an and operator to the first condition, meaning both things need to be true in order for our action to go through. So if we have um, another button and we make this jump, we have our key combo. So now not one, but both need to be hit for us to go over to this right column. So if we add an action here, you, we get a different set of drop downs. The one that we're going to want to use for super jumping is apply impulse. Now you get a whole bunch of settings, but um, this is going to get a lot easier soon. But once again, we want the event player, the one that we're dealing with currently. And you can go in here and you can have like a more customized direction using these values. This is, this is called a vector. It's kind of like a three-dimensional direction, but you can actually simplify this by typing in up. Up is like a predefined vector that just means only apply force in the upward direction. Now, next is speed, which is the quantifier or like the magnitude of that force. Uh, 20 should be good for what we need to do. You want to set this to two world unless you want to do something that could combo with other movement abilities. This is something to play around with, the two player, but for right now just do two world. And cancel contrary motion means if you were had any other forces applied, this will just override it. So that's good for now. So now to test it, we just have to hit back and then start. 
on the game lobby. So let's go ahead and grab McCree. And as you can see, I'm bouncing, I'm hopping just with jump key and nothing's happening. I'm hitting crouch and nothing's happening, but if I hit both, it's a super jump. And I, we can't double jump, but oh, we can double jump. So that is a problem, and that, that just comes with more bug fixing. Um, there is a way to fix this double jumping. Um, I won't do this in this current video, but um, I hope you learned something in this video. I hope you got a better grasp of how to use the uh, workplace editor for Overwatch. Um, if you found this helpful, please uh, leave a like, leave a subscribe. I'll be making a bunch more videos about how to use this system. I'll be doing a lot of research in the next coming days. And um, got a lot of good tutorials coming your way. So thanks for watching.